Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Tempo TCG here, back on my YouTube channel, and today I'm gonna be covering one of my favorite decks to play on the ladder, and that is Torterra EX. Now, Torterra is really strong. It's got 340 HP, which is one of the highest HP counts in the game. It also has the Forest March attack, which for one energy does 30 damage for each of your Grass Pipe Pokemon in play. This is the main attack we're gonna be using on Torterra. And then for three energy, it has Jungle Hammer, which does 150 damage, and you heal 50 damage from Torterra. Now we do have four Turtwigs. Uh, one of the other Torterras that has Evo Press, which does 50 damage for each of your evolution Pokemon in play. This can be really great at just swinging 250 or 200 damage, which is just higher than Torterra EX can swing. We do have four Grottle with the Sun Drenched Shell ability, which once during your turn, you may search your deck for a grass type Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, this is just our engine for finding our Pokemon in general. We also have a 1-1 Cricketune line. Cricketune does have the ability Swelling Tune, which says your Grass-type Pokemon in play, except any Cricketune, get plus 40 HP, but you cannot apply more than one Swelling Tune ability at a time. This essentially makes Torterra a 380 HP Pokemon. Now we do have a 1 of Iron Leaves. This is just great. Let's say we've got 3 energy on a Torterra. We bench our Iron Leaves. We can go into Iron Leaves and just swing whatever is in the active spot. Let's say we need a hit for 230, we can attach a max belt and just swing it. Now we do obviously have a 1-1 Relor and Rabska line. This is just really strong at just protecting our bench. It is a grass type Pokemon, so Grottle can search it. And lastly, we do have Radiant Serena, which is just healing our Torterra or our other Pokemon. Now our trainer and supporter count, we do have a counter catcher, two artisan, three Gardenia's Viger, which is just greater at accelerating energies to the Pokemon that we need to attack with. Let's say we miss an attach for a turn and we need to swing three energies with Torterra, we can do that. We do play four Nest Ball and our Ace Becca choice, like I talked about earlier, is that maximum belt just so that we can swing a little bit better numbers. It's a little easier to KO Charizard, we can KO a Chempa, we can KO a Mirida. We play three Poke Gear just to maximize the consistency of the deck because that is the issue that Torterra tends to have. Uh, we do play a Rescue Board. Rescue Board is really great. It just allows us to pivot with Relor or with our Cricketune just so we can retreat for free. Have essentially a free retreat Pokemon. Do play a Pal Pad, just recycles supporters. You guys know what it does. Then we play four Arvin. This deck plays fairly similar to Charizard where essentially turn one, we want to go second. We want to Arvin for a Nest Ball and a TM Evo and then just TM Evo. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We do play Boss's Orders. Obviously, every deck plays a Boss's Orders. And then a Professor Turo Scenario. Now, this card is very strong in this deck, as let's say we've got a Torterra EX in our active spot and a Grottle on our bench. Our Torterra takes a Burning Darkness for 300 damage. We can Professor Turo it into our hand, lay our Torterra back onto one of our Grottles, and then just swing again with one energy. It's a really strong card. Maybe I want to go up to two. Then we do play two TM Evolution. We did talk about this card earlier. It just lets us evolve our bench Pokemon, and Evolution is the name of the game with this deck. Next up, we do play two uh, Super Rod. I think two Super Rod is very strong in this deck. I think uh, being able to use Super Rod just to uh, recycle maybe our Iron Leaves, a Torterra, maybe our Evo Press Torterra, I think is really, really good. We do only play two Buddy Buddy Poffin, as Buddy Buddy Poffin only grabs our Cricketot and our Relor, so it's not the most useful card in the deck. However, we do definitely need it just so that we can get those Pokemon when they're needed. We do play two Iono and a Switch. Switch is good. We just have high retreat on a lot of our Pokemon, so having that Switch there is incredibly strong. And lastly, I do play four Earthen Vessel. This just lets us accelerate as much energy as we want, and I honestly believe that Iron Leaves is really strong in this deck. So I do think this is just optimal. Maybe you go to three Earthen Vessel. Actually, you know what? We are going to go three Earthen Vessel to Professor Turo. Um, I think that could probably work pretty well. Um, this is just my homebrew list, so I'm toying around with it. We're learning together, guys. And then lastly, we'll play 7 Energy. I think this is a perfect energy count, as we don't need too many, but we do need a couple. So, without further ado, let's hop into some games. Let's see how Torterra performs. Alrighty, looks like we do get a choice of coin flip. We are going to choose Tails. Oh, I guess we just chose Heads by accident. I meant to click Tails, but I kind of slipped. Hey! I guess we picked Heads and we won. Look at that. We are going to choose to go second. Like I talked about, we do want to go second with this deck to go Arvin. Um, I guess, let's see what our opening hand looks like. Um, a brick. This hand would suck. Uh, I'm kind of glad we, uh, didn't go into this. Um, they are gonna, looks like they're playing Gengar, potentially, which is an interesting deck. Um, they might not be playing it, though. They might just like Ghastly and might be playing Ghastly Sleeves. And sometimes that's kind of what happens on this, uh, app. Is sometimes I'm like, oh, I see you're playing Ghastly Sleeves. And there's a Ghastly deck in the format. I just kind of assume you're gonna be playing it. Uh, neither of these hands were very good, to be honest. 
Uh, this hand's also not overly good. We definitely uh, don't have too much to do here. But I think we're probably fine as long as this Pokey Gear hits an Arvin. Um, I mean, we can go Artisan for Turtwig. Uh, Arvin for... Yeah, I think I think we're probably looking pretty okay. We are playing against a Gengar deck. Um, Gengar shouldn't be too bad because... One, we're not attaching a lot of energies from our hand. And two, he doesn't swing that, that much damage. Um, I think it's kind of going to be a big battle of who is swinging first into each other who is getting that first two prize knockout um torterra is a little bit harder to knock out than gengar but in the end it doesn't really really matter um did he just get the attached pass which is probably what they wanted in that scenario we can go artisan here and then artisan for a turtwig uh looking at it what's our odds of hitting an arvin here we have all four in the deck so probably pretty okay let's go in with our pokey gear here Great, right, we hit an arvin we do hit an arvin so you know what? We are definitely still in this game here. We can go uh Pokey Gear or not Pokey Gear. Uh, we can go Earth and Vessel and a TM Evolution here. I think this is very, very solid for us. I think uh we're just gonna go TM Evo on a Relor. And we can go Earth and Vessel away. Um this Relor is gonna die, so I think we just get just get rid of Rapska here. Grab two grass energies. Catch one here to our Relor. We don't have another Turtwig to evolve, but you know what? That's sometimes just how it's gonna go. We can go with the slight intrusion to evolve our Turtwig into a Grottle. And then next turn, we're going to be swinging with Torterra. So I think we're probably looking pretty okay. Um, Torterra attacking for one energy, but we'd only be doing 30 damage. I guess we'll do 60 when we uh, can get one more Pokemon in play. Uh, it's not ideal because obviously we'd like to be swinging for a lot more damage, but we're just kind of not. Um, what sucks is Torterra's damage is heavily based upon how uh, many grass Pokemon we have in place. So we cannot play a combination like Bidoof and Squovit, unfortunately. They do get that third Gengar into play here. Uh, well, the third Ghastly. They don't have any Gengars in play yet. Let's go. Uh, let's see if they get the Rare Candy Evolve here. They are going to go Iono. That's actually stupendous for us because our hands suck. Let's see uh, what we can get into here. Uh, we are going to go into actually a pretty solid hand, to be honest. Um, this does mean we are definitely swinging for an okay number this next turn. Um, Nest Ball plus Turtwig plus Artisan is going to be a guaranteed 120 damage, which we do like to see. Um, the Gardenia's Viger does mean we can accelerate some energy while drawing cards as well. I think we're probably looking okay. They're going to go Rare Candy Gengar. They're going to go to the bench to Gengar, though. Gengar does do 160 damage. Um, what is really great about that is that means they are three-shotting our Torterra as long as... Because, well, yeah, if we Gardenia's Viger here, we are three-shot it. He is three-shotting us because we're not wasting an energy, attaching it, and dealing damage to ourselves. Uh, Radiant Serena could actually be pretty uh, solid here. Or even Cricketoon could be even better. I think we are going to grab this Cricketot. Uh, and then we can just go Artisan here. Uh, the art is on for another Turtwig. And then we can Gardenia's Viger, attach a Grass Energy to our Grottle. Uh, and then we do just go right into the Torterra, which is very, very solid here. Um, oh, I guess that does count. Okay, so it does count as Accelerating Energies there. But you know what? We can uh, we can go Sun Drenched Shell and just grab this Serena and heal all that damage. Um, this is kind of actually kind of a busted turn here. Um, I don't really know what they're going to do to... Uh, do anything here because we've got enough damage that we're definitely swinging good amounts here we can go retreat into this torterra ex and swing 180 damage which is a very good number for us to swing and like i was talking about earlier this uh gengar is going to be just three shotting us so we are definitely looking absolutely stupendous here our uh, bench is looking really strong we do have iono gardenia so i think we're probably looking really okay into this game uh, the only issue I can uh, foresee happening is our opponent moving all of our energies around. But we do attack for one energy, so maybe that's okay. Uh, they do spend an S-Ball on Ghastly instead of going in with Artisan. And they're gonna, they're gonna Morty's. Morty's for, what is that, five? Yeah, that's pretty good. Morty's for five there. There's a Haunter. Uh, let's see if they can get anything else going. They do have the attach. The tricky steps is a little bit scary. I think our best bet is to evolve one. And then maybe we're gonna go into just that... Oh, man, I don't really know. I think maybe we Super Rod to up our chances, or maybe we just Iona. We're probably going to hit an Earthen Vessel anyways. Uh, then moving around all the energies is kind of the scary part. There's our the League Headquarters. It doesn't really affect us whatsoever. 
Uh, swinging 160 is also perfectly fine for us. Um, Gengar moving energies to Radiant Serena is probably fine as well. Um, then we do get an Arvin here, so I think Arvin is probably our safer bet. It does guarantee an attack, so we're going to go there into a Grottle. We can go Elegant Heal to heal ourselves a little bit more. And then we can Grottle here for another Grottle. Uh, and yeah, this is how the deck really functions. The deck can kind of really get going. Um, especially I found this list works actually pretty, pretty solidly. Um, I haven't found any issues with this current list. I was having a lot of troubles with the deck earlier. Maybe you guys saw my Twitter where I did post that I was looking for a proper list, but I kind of homebrewed this one and I was like, you know what? I actually really, really enjoy this list. Uh, here we can go Earth and Vessel and even Max Bell here is really strong for us. I'm actually kind of gassed up on that one. Then we can go uh, Earth and Vessel away. This Iron Leaves. I don't think we're going to be needing it too, too much. And we can always go Super Odd and put it back in the deck. Um, Iron Leaves could be really strong because it does move all our energies back to our leaves so we can swing. So I think it's a good late game attack. Uh, so we can go there. Deal uh, 20 more damage to us. But that only puts us at 160 out of 380. So we're not even a half health yet. And even at just 320. We're uh, still not even at half health, so here Force March for 230 damage is definitely really solid for us. Um, and we do have another energy in hand, so we can just swing with Force March again next turn. I'm actually really liking the looks of this game as it currently sits. Um, Gengar seems pretty cool. It definitely, the seven energies is definitely scary. They are going to get rid of our max belt, but it's not really going to matter. Um, getting rid of the max belt, we're still swinging this Gengar for a knockout, unless they have something like a Professor Toro scenario. Um, or maybe they're going to retreat into another card. They are going to Iono us here. That's a little bit scary, but you know what? We're probably going to go into another Arvin. Uh, Turo and Torterra are both very solid cards here. Um, like I said, we don't have any energies, so it's a little, little bit sketch here. We're probably not swinging this uh, Gengar for the knockout. However, no matter what they do here, wherever they move this energy, it could kind of uh, be okay. Um, we do have a switch in hand. We do... We do. We can just tank next turn as well. Uh, they do attach it to Krikataw here. Um, I do. I do kind of get a little bit sketched here. Um, the Turo. We could Turo away this Torterra to eliminate this two prizer from the board. I actually don't hate that play whatsoever. It just gives us a turn to stall them out. Um, I think we can probably go. Oh, there's not really too much, but I kind of want those cards off the bottom. So we are gonna go Sundren Shell. Um, there's nothing we're overly looking for in particular. Um, maybe we could grab this Evo Press Torterra, but we don't have any energy, so it doesn't overly matter. And then we can Turo this Torterra back into our hand. Uh, we can just promote, let's just say this Grottle for now. I think this seems fine. And then we can go Torterra there. And then, um, uh, I think we're actually perfectly fine to just sit and pass. Um, and that's kind of what's great about this deck is we can just sit here and keep looping these Torterras. And just kind of make it kind of annoying for our opponent to take knockouts on us. Um, the second Turo here is definitely good. Hand Trimmer here definitely hurts, but we can just go one, two. Uh, and we just need to discard one more card. I think we're probably fine to just discard this Evo Press Torterra. I don't see it being the most use. We're probably two-shotting everything anyways. And that being a one prizer isn't overly great. It does get two-shot for one prize, so it's probably okay. Like... Actually, you know what? It probably wasn't the correct card to get rid of. We probably could have gotten rid of either a Torterra EX or whatever. It doesn't matter that much. For here, they do get their Ultra Ball. Let's see. Uh, they're probably hopefully going to grab a Barrel. That would be kind of what I would go into here. It just gives them opportunities to draw their cards. Um, let's see uh, what they're going to get going on. They're going to get a Gengar instead of Barrel, which kind of seems like the wrong play for me. Uh, they're going to go Rare Candy into that Gengar EX. Uh, and then they can Morty's Conviction us for four here. Uh, let's see what they can go into. There's the other Gengar. This Gengar does allow them to switch. We have featured it on the channel plenty of times. Actually, probably just two or three times. But it does have the ability Night Gate, which once during your turn, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. It's a very strong ability. Um, it's really good into control. Um, they probably didn't need to do this. Uh, it does put us to sleep, but we do have the switch card in hand. So either way, I think we're probably looking pretty solid here as long as we can find any way to find a grass energy, whether that's through Pokestop, whether that's through whatever. 
Uh, let's go here. We do play some uh, heavy pokey gear. And we have only played one, so maybe we find a pokey gear here. Their board state's looking really, really solid. Um, I think Gengar could actually be pretty solid with a little bit of a good list. Um, this list seems pretty okay. They're functioning pretty good. Um, we did miss last attack, which would have put us up two more prizes. But overall, I do think we're looking pretty okay. They're going to go Night Gate into the other Gengar, I'm assuming. But that does mean that they do not get an attack this turn, which seems inher inherently bad. Oh, they are just going to go Nightmare for 100. Um, once again, that's probably fine for us. Right? Like, looking at our discard, as long as we find some way to get any supporter in play, we're probably fine. Um, and we do have our Elegant Heal, so we can just heal off with this Torterra a little bit. There's our Tails. So we are still asleep, which is unfortunate, but sometimes that happens, right, guys? Like... Status, con status conditions or status conditions. Uh, we don't find anything here. Uh, I'm just going to go Sun Drenched Shell. This does just let us go and pin our deck a little bit. So we're not discarding that other Torterra. And uh, maybe we could go Nest Ball. There's nothing to Nest Ball for. I'm kind of liking our odds of hitting an item. Uh, we do play two Super Odd. Yeah, I guess we got to hit one of four cards. We did prize our other Earthen Vessel. So we are kind of very reliant on hitting some uh, Pokey Gear here. So yeah, let's just hit our Pokestop. We can just sit and stall out for this turn. That was not what we wanted to Pokestop away. That's absolutely insane. We can Elegant Heal 20 damage off of this Torterra here. Uh, and then I think we can just go Bench Turtwig maybe. And then just pass here. And I think it's probably fine. Uh, this Torterra has enough HP, especially against Gengar, that it can kind of just sit here and do whatever it wants. There's nothing this guy can do against this Torterra. Especially with no energy, he's probably fine to sit here and just keep using Nightmare. Um, we could take a knockout, and then we could... Yeah, there's lots of stuff we can do. I'm not concerned with this game much. Um, I am kind of saddened by that Pokestop of Artisan Arvin Iono. It's definitely not what we wanted to hit. But you know what? I think we are still probably looking okay. Eventually, we'll find an energy. There's only uh, three in play, so there's still four in the deck. So here they're going to go in here and then just use Tricky Steps. Probably not the probably not the best play. It does put us to 240. However, we can heal back to 220. We do get heads, so we are awake. So at least there is that. We can elegant heal. That still doesn't overly save us. Um, I guess we're gonna go for the Poke Sub again and pray we hit anything useful. Palpad and Nest Ball. Palpad is pretty solid here, I can't lie. Um, I think Palpad for Iono and Arvin is probably our best bet. Yeah, let's go Palpad. We'll throw in Arvin and Iono here. Um, and I do just think that those are probably the best cards for that we can throw back in. Maybe Gardenia's Viger is better. I'm going to go Elegant Heal here. Just heal 20 damage from us. We are still dead next turn to this Gengar. So maybe we go and we evolve this here. We evolve this over here. And then we switch back into our other Gengar. Or our other uh, Torterra here. This does just allow us to tank three more hits. Um, probably pretty okay to be honest. Then I think we're just going to end our turn here. And I think we just sit here and rely on top decks. And like, what's crazy about this deck is we can go, oh, it really sucks we're relying so heavy on the top deck. But you know what? Is that they've got eight cards in deck. We can probably sit here and just keep decking them out. Um, I don't know how they're going to win in eight turns, to be honest. Um, and that's if they don't draw any extra cards, right? And that's kind of like a little bit scary. Let's go into Relor here, actually. We do have that rescue board. This just saves a hit off our Torterra. There's the Pokey Gear. So let's go Rescue Board here. Let's go Pokey Gear. Hopefully we can hit something like an Iono or this Gardenia's Viger is probably fine. However, we don't really want any of the cards that are currently in our hands. So let's just grab this Iono. Pokemon TCG Live just broke, I guess. Never, never seen this one, fellas. Um, okay, I guess we did still get our Iono. So I guess that works pretty well. Uh, let's just go Iono here. I don't think we need to go into our other Torterra. I think we can just go Iono here. And then uh, we can see what these other cards we're going to draw into are. Uh, yeah, we do get an energy, so that is pretty okay. This does mean that we are taking 40 damage, but we can also heal 20 of that. And uh, here we could go double Super Rod here. I don't actually hate the idea of double Super Rod. Double Super Rod does give us access to Iron Leaves. Uh, it does give us access to Torterra, Grotto, blah, 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 blah. But I think we'd actually probably go Iron Leaves to energy off this first Super Rod here. Uh, so let's go Iron Leaves. Let's go two energy cards. I don't mind that play at all. Uh, and then we can just go Retreat into Torterra EX here. And Elegant Heal. 
So here now we're still got a good amount of HP and then uh, I think we can just go forced march here for the knockout. That does get us two more prize cards. I don't I don't mind where we're sitting right now. Um, we're still within three shot range, especially when we heal 20 damage. Uh, there's an earthen vessel and an Iono, so we're definitely finding energies. That is something for sure. And we do have this sun drenched shell, so no matter what, we're probably looking pretty okay. Uh, they're going to move this energy here. I do know that. Um, but here I do think we are just going to go Iron Leaves. Uh, and then even if they move an energy from Iron Leaves, we can just Earthen Vessel the next turn. Um, speaking of, we could just go Earthen Vessel this turn, get rid of that TM Evo. And save the Iron Leaves play for next turn. This would give us Guaranteed Knockout on this Gengar. And that would probably be pretty okay. Uh, they don't have any other Ghastlies in play. So I actually don't think that we need to leave this turn. I think this turn needs to be Earthen Vessel away this TM Evolution. And then go for those double grass energies. We do get the Gardenia's Viger, which is pretty okay. We can go Earthen Vessel away there. We can go double grass energies. Uh, we can go Elegant Heal. This does put us to 160. However, we are attaching for turns. We will be back at 180. We still have 200 HP though, so we're still looking perfectly fine. And then um, uh, here, I definitely think that we're just fine to just go... Um, Probably just go forest march here and then just swing for 150 damage this does give us guaranteed knockout on this gengar next turn with our iron leaves um especially like they're gonna move some of these energies away they're gonna move one let's say to that benched grottle i don't actually know what they're gonna move the energy to i'm assuming it'll be radiant serena but that is also perfectly fine they do switch into gengar which is definitely an interesting card however we can still go iron leaves this turn um we haven't dumped our boss yet so we could still find just a boss's orders here onto this gengar ex however i do think knocking out this gengar is probably pretty solid for us um we could we could 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 knock out gengar with iron leaves right now i don't think it's necessary i think we can probably just go sun drenched shell we can grab iron leaves um as much as it sucks i think we are just gonna have to attack with iron leaves at this current moment just to get torterra out of harm's way if they do have a boss's orders we are definitely in trouble there's a rapid vernier ability uh, and then we can just attach three energies we'll move one from radiant serena one from relor and then one from cricketune and then we do have the one in turn for next turn anyways now iron leaves does only have one retreat cost so that is also perfectly fine for us we'll go with elegant heal here just that way if they decide to go into another one of these gengars it can't one shot us we can just go prism edge here prism edge does take a knockout on this gengar puts us to two prizes and we pretty much have them checkmated here they can't one shot our iron leaves we can set up torterra really well and yeah i think this deck actually when you have a proper list i think it can really function um i think that there's a lot of bad lists out there that give the deck a bad rep however i think a list like this can really tango you could even go to third uh turo because like here we probably could have just played the deck out game against a deck like Gengar, and that's really what is absolutely insane um it's kind of hard because they do have squovit but we could have boss squovit killed it and then just played the deck out game right and sometimes pokemon there is alternate win conditions right so sometimes it's just like that they do play that league headquarters does make it a little harder for us to attack however we can still just retreat and swing gengar for free and just win the game uh and I think, honestly, we're perfectly fine. Tricky steps here. I don't know where they're going to move the energy. Not that it really matters because we are swinging 180, which does get us the knockout. Um, but yeah, guys, this is Torterra EX. Um, as you see, I really like this list. It is down below. You guys can copy and paste that from the description. They are going to go concede. So that is the game. I really enjoyed playing Torterra in this game. I think the deck is really fun. List is down below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Only about 6% of you are subscribed to this account. But until next time, guys, this has been Torterra EX, and I'll catch you later.